Kawasaki disease should be considered in any child that has a fever of 5 days duration without any other explanation. If in addition to the fever criteria, 4 or 5 of the clinical criteria are met, then the diagnosis of Kawasaki disease is established. However, when only 2 or 3 of the clinical criteria are met, then a case of incomplete Kawasaki disease should be considered. The first step in this situation would be to evaluate the C-reactive protein level and the erythrocyte sedimentation rate. Elevation of either supports the diagnosis and should be followed with an assessment of the supplementary laboratory criteria. If less than three of these criteria are met, then echocardiography should be performed before initiating definitive therapy. However, if three or more criteria are met, then the definitive therapy can be initiated prior to echocardiography. Now, if neither the CRP or SED rate are elevated, but the fever persists after two days, then the child should be reevaluated. And echocardiography should also be ordered for children with normal CRP and SED rates if typical peeling occurs in the fingers and toes following defervescence.